In this video today, I would like to introduce you to a 3D factory simulation software called Factory.io. Um, it is a great software that I often use um, when I want to practice a project or teach um, PLC, Ladder Logic Programming, or sometimes even SCADA. Um, so in this video, I will introduce you to the software, where to get the software, how to download it, and then I'll give you just an overview of the um, software itself. Maybe I'll go through the tabs. And in another video, um, as I did with the SCADA uh, videos, um, in another video, I'll do a demo of how to actually um, use the software with a simulator PLC. All right. So Factor IO software is simulation software for learning uh, automation technology. So what you're currently seeing is you're seeing uh, one of their, what they call a scene, which is um, an industrial application scenario. Uh, we have three conveyors and sometimes you will have boxes um, to go through the conveyor and then you sort them out. Now Factor IO software mimics um, a factory setting as if this is a real factory. So let's say, for example, you have a real PLC, um, Ellen Bradley. Um, I'm a little bit familiar with Ellen Bradley products. And then you want to test uh, your ladder logic program. So you can use factory IO to test your ladder logic program. You have sensors, you have conveyor belts, um, you have um, an, an industrial scenario that you can actually test your program. Or you can use a simulator PLC and then you can use it with Factor.io to test your program. And this is actually what I'm going to do in um, a next video. I'm going to use a simulator PLC with Factor.io to test a lot of logic program. To download the software, you go to Factor.io website here. I'll leave the link um, in the description box as well. Um, and then you click on try for free. Now, once you click on trial for free, you have a 30 days free trial. Um, you just fill in your name and email and then um, you download it and install it on your computer. Now, um, this is, they call it the IO, the Factor IO Ultimate Edition. So it has all the uh, PLCs, but if you go to the editions here, and then you have a specific preference, like let's say, for example, you work only with Siemens or Allen Bradley. So you can select that and then you can download that specific one. Um, I, If you have the free trial, try to go with the ultimate, but if you have a specific preference, you can also um, select the one that you like. Now, when you open the software, you're not gonna get this uh, scene right away. I'll show you what you get. So you go to here, to the home. Um, usually, you will start with this uh, window when you uh, launch the software. Um, here you can have access to the different um, resources you have. You can have go the documentation, getting started, manual, um, understanding the different parts you have, the scenes. Um, you can also select specific tutorials um, that will take you to the website for each of the um, different PLCs here. Now, if you click on open here you have the option of um, selecting um, scenes. Scenes is an, simply a scenario of an industrial application. So you have different ones. You have filling it, for example, filling a tank, um, a simple conveyor with box. Um, I'm going to open one of them, but I'm just going to give you an overview. You can have um, um, assembler, for example, uh, sorting um, sorting by height. You have a basic and you have advanced. So you have a pre-built um, or a list of ready-to-use scenes that mimics typical industrial application. You can choose any of them or you can actually start your own. Um, so for example, if I click, um, let's say from A to B, and then I don't like that, I can go here and choose new. And in the new, I have nothing in the scene. Uh, I can build the scene from scratch. So I'll go back again to the different scenes. So if you go to file here, and then you click to open, you select um, any scene you like to work with. So again, I'll just select this, for example. And then the scenes, um, I mean, in the scenes, you actually have components. The, here I have conveyor belts with um, two sensors here. 
um, and a box. Now, in order to know what are the items or the parts in this scene, if you go here in the tab, um, the first one is called a palette window. It's basically this window here. So if I click on it, it disappears. If I activate it, you can see all the parts. And as the name suggests, it's to get the parts into the scene. So let's say, for example, I like to grab um, another control panel. So I grab it and put it in the scene. Um, I can grab any other items and just put it in the scene basically. Now once you select the item and then right click on it, you have the option of moving it um, into horizontal or vertical or rotate that. Um, you can duplicate it um, and then since I don't have anything in here I cannot do the configuration but there are other parts where I can click on configuration and then I can choose um, what's the configuration for this part. Um, the first thing that you probably when once you now launch the software the first thing you might find it um, takes gonna take a little bit a while for you to adjust is how to move through the scene. I will show you a reference from their website um, to help you with um, understanding how you can zoom in or zoom out using the scene. So if you go to their website, their website is amazing. It got all the resources that you need. I often go back to their website. Um, so if you click on learn here and then you um, scroll down and then select getting started. And then here in the getting started, it goes through the different tabs here. And then you can also go through the navigating. What is each um, each camera is used? How to use the mouse? How to rotate through the the part itself? Um, very very great resources here. If you like to understand better about the um, the software itself. So again, I'll leave the link to this website in the description box below this video. Now, one of the things that are available on their website as well is tutorials and samples. So if you click on tutorials and samples, you would have um, examples for each of the uh, PLCs over here. So if you click on Ellen Bradley, um, you have an option of either Logix 500, Micro 800, Micrologix, or SLC 5. And then for each one, you have sample. You have a pro fully written program. So if you click on sorting by height, for example, you can download it and you can use it on um, on your project. And they also have a YouTube um, channel. You can refer to it if you like to see more. And um, the same thing for any other uh, PLC. I usually select the Ellen Bradley because I'm pretty familiar with Ellen Bradley um, devices. But the same thing applies for any other um, PLC available. Um, from Factor IO software. Before I go ahead, I'm going to delete the other uh, two parts that I just added just to make it simple here. And then I'm going to rotate it back so you can see um, the tags. Now here you have two uh, parts. You have actuator tags and you have sensor tags. So once I click on the actuator tag, you see here that I got the conveyor. So it shows me the 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 actuators, the outputs of this scene. Once I click on the sensors, now I can see the sensors in this scene. So I have two sensors, sensors sensor A and sensor B. If I click on the writing here, I can change the writing on your left hand side um, in this part here. I can say sensor 1 instead of sensor A. I can also change it if it's normally open or normally, normally closed. Um, the same thing with the conveyor. Once you click on the writing, you can also change the name if you like. Um, and you can also change the status. The same thing applies for any other scene uh, within Factor IO. I will show you another scene in a bit. Um, now, the second part that I would like to show you in Factor IO is that you go to File and then you click on Drivers. And then here on the Drivers, you have a list of the sensors of, the, of this specific scene. 
and a list of the actuators or the outputs of this specific scene. Now from the drivers, you in the drop down menu, you have a list of different PLCs that you can select. Um, the ones that I usually uh, work with and I have a full course on LinkedIn Learning is for Ellen Bradley Micro 800. Now once you select that, um, you would see the IP address of the PLC you're working with, the inputs on your left hand side and the output on your right hand side. If you go to configuration here, and then you click on the configuration. This is where you change the IP address of that specific PLC. You can also change the number of the inputs or outputs. So let's say, for example, instead of having one sensor in the um, project that I'm working with, I have three sensors instead of two sensors or instead of one sensor. Then I need to change the number in the Boolean input if I have a digital uh, sensor. So according to your um, project or your scenario, you can change the number of inputs and outputs. Um, and then you have a choice of a Boolean, uh, float and integer. Now the same thing applies for any other scene. Um, let's say for example, I'd like to choose another scene. So I'm going to select this one that I showed you at the beginning. Um, now for this one, see now I have writings on each of the item in the scene. If I am interested in only looking at the sensors tag, so I'm going to deactivate the actuators, the outputs. So now everything I see here are inputs. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that I have three sensors um, for this one. Um, I have a, a sensor here. I have another sensor um, over here. Now, if you want to know what type of sensor is this, always refer back to the website. I'm going to show you, for example, this one here. Let's say, for example, I want to know, is this a digital? Is this an analog? Um, how does this behave? Is it normally open or normally closed? So what you do is you go to manual and then you select parts. And then from parts, you can select the item. So here, for example, I'm having sensors. So I'm going to select, let's say, capacitive sensor. And then I can take a look. Is this the capacitive sensor? Is this the um, inductive sensor, etc. So literally, you can just scroll down and read the um, the, the sensor type, the more information about it, the number of beans, is it normally open, normally closed, is it a boolean type, um, everything is mentioned on their website. Now the same thing for the outputs. So if I'm interested in only understanding the outputs, so you click on the output tag and then you have everything here. So um, I have certain outputs around um, this part, I have the conveyor right, conveyor left, um, and the entry conveyor. So um, I'm not going to go through a lot of details here, maybe in another demo. Um, this is just to get you familiar with the settings, just to understand the software in a bit and give you the resources to um, understand the uh, software. And as always, I like to refer um, viewers to the current course that I have or if I have courses related to what I'm covering here. So I do have a full course. Um, this is the name of it, um, PLC Simulation Software Factor IO and Connected Components Workbench Software. And I literally use Factor IO with this simulator PLC and I go through four projects with solutions. So I use different scenes um, and then I go through the programming parts and how to connect the each PLC to it um, and then show you a demo. So you have the solutions over there if you want to give it a try. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description box in uh, under this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.